first off, I want to say huge thanks to Nubby and my server. They helped me get a lot of these clips and test the butler a lot, and I couldn't have done it without them. The butler. It has a power level of 2, takes 5 hits to kill in multiplayer, and 1 hit to kill in single player. The maximum amount that can spawn on one moon is 7 butlers, and it is most common on Dyne, which it has a 61.64% chance. The butler is an inside entity, and when they spawn, they will randomly roam the mansion or facility. They path at a very fast rate until finding the player, and then slow down and begin sweeping. The butler has a passive and aggressive state. It is initially in its passive state. When it comes across an alone player, it will initially pull out its broom and innocently sweep. After being around that solo player for a short time, the butler will turn to its aggressive state and put away its broom, then pull out its knife and start chasing the player, thus moving into its aggressive state. The butler does not attack with more than one person around unless you attack it first. So even if you have seven butlers around you, as long as you are near one other player, none of them will pull out their knife and go into the aggressive state. They will all be sweeping. This also means if you were alone and getting chased by a butler, but then came across another player, the butler would put away its knife and start sweeping again, no longer chasing you. This changes, however, if you choose to attack the butler. If you attack the butler, it will pull out its knife regardless of how many players are around. Attacking a butler around other butlers will make the others enter their aggressive state. When in the aggressive state, there will be a chase music as the butler runs after you. In its aggressive state, the butler will chase the player and kill very fast. He only takes about 15 steps to kill you. The player can outrun the butler, but if the player is above about 30 pounds, the player can no longer outrun him. Remember, if you run out of stamina without leaving the building or creating enough distance, you're probably done for. The best way to kill a butler is to try and circle it in a big area. This is the best way to do it without getting hit at all. But, it's not too hard to just gang up on the butler or take a few knife hits as you kill it. You will just hit the butler and then start running in a circle backwards because the butler isn't too great at turning. Once you kill the butler, it will blow up like a balloon and pop. Be careful because this explosion can send you flying into the air and kill you if you are too close. However, the explosion does no damage itself. After it pops, masked hornets will spawn from inside the butler. These hornets act just like bees, but are a bit slower and easier to lose. Just like circuit bees, these hornets are not killable, so if you want to kill any butlers, it is recommended you save them for the very end when you do not have to go back in the facility. Additionally, these hornets also do 10 damage per hit and can kill you very quickly, even if you're full health. If these hornets are around and you are around another butler, the butler will turn to its aggressive state. For avoiding the hornets, it is best to just try and run away from them and break line of sight. You are a bit faster than the hornets, and you can also close doors behind you to help, even though hornets still open doors pretty quickly. Once you kill a butler, he will drop the knife that he has. This knife currently has no value, but is a really cool weapon. The knife swings as fast as you click, and does the same amount of damage as shovel, but in a shorter range. If you are a host, you will only actually do damage every 0.4 seconds, but if you are a client, the knife does damage every single time you click and hit. So using an auto-clicker is a little overpowered if you're a client. Here are some final notes about the butler. Although they can open doors, this takes a while and they suck at it, so you can use this to your advantage to get away from butlers. If you get too close, they will stab regardless of how many players are around to force you to get away from them. But this will not put them in their aggressive state. There is a common myth that hitting them in their aggressive state is only one hit, but this is not true. It will always be five hits on multiplayer and one hit on single player.
When the butler kills a player, it will run super fast away from the crime scene before continuing to roam again. So that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe and follow the Twitch. It'll mean a lot. I stream there almost every day. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day.